How to manage a herd of thousands of cows? This is a question that any farm owner wants to have an answer to because raising a large herd of cows is not easy and very costly. To solve this situation, some cattle farmers in the US have found a bold but extremely effective solution. So, right now, let's explore with us the most modern cattle raising method of American farmers. There are over 28 million cattle in the United States, many of which roam freely across vast tracts of land in the American West. Managing large numbers of cattle roaming thousands of acres is not an easy task, as it is time-consuming and requires a lot of physical effort. Traditional methods of herding, such as horseback riding, are ineffective, as farmers must spend hours moving cattle between grazing areas, monitoring each animal, and ensuring none stray or get hurt. To meet these challenges, American farmers have begun to use helicopters as a tool to manage their free-range cattle. After a period of applying helicopters to herd cattle, American farmers have realized the advantages that this method brings. First, Helicopters can cover large areas of land in a fraction of the time it would take with other methods. This is especially useful when monitoring cattle in difficult terrain such as mountains, forests, or wetlands. With a bird's eye view, American farmers can get a bird's eye view of the landscape and monitor the status of their cattle, directing them to specific pasture areas. One of the most essential things when raising free-range cattle is precision. Helicopters have used GPS technology, allowing farmers to see the entire herd and predict potential problems, such as when the herd moves too far or some animals stray from the herd. In addition, aerial observation also helps farmers detect sick or injured cows. Early detection can prevent spread disease in the herd and ensure sick cows received prompt veterinary care. Many people think that using helicopters for livestock farming is very expensive because it requires a large initial cost for many farmers. But the long-term benefits make it a valuable tool for large-scale livestock farming operations. With just a one-time investment, American farmers can use helicopters for a long time and save on labor costs, thus reaping profits in the long run. Furthermore, the ability to manage the herd quickly and accurately also ensures healthier, safer, and more productive animals. Healthy cows produce better quality meat and milk, which increases farm profits. Once the cows are ready for slaughter, they are gathered by helicopter to staging areas and transported to the meat processing plant. The cows are inspected before slaughter to ensure they are healthy. 
Inside the processing plant is a systematic and strictly managed process, ensuring that beef products are safe for consumers. Animals are humanely anesthetized before slaughter, minimizing stress, be straightforward and ensure compliance with ethical standards. After the slaughtering process, each beef carcass is cut in half by machine and chilled for 34 to 48 hours to cool and prevent bacteria from growing. This process helps preserve the freshness and quality of the meat. After 48 hours, the beef carcass is divided into main parts such as ribs, loin, and shoulder, and the beef bones are also removed. Skilled meat cutters or automated machines will carefully separate the meat from the bones, ensuring precise cuts. The beef is then graded based on a number of factors, including marbling, color, and tenderness. Higher grades are often sold as premium cuts, while others may be processed into sausages, bacon, or lunch meat. The final step in the processing plant is packaging, where the beef is vacuum sealed to extend its shelf life or sold fresh. The beef is then transported to grocery stores or supermarkets before reaching consumers. Throughout the processing process, hygiene is paramount, so equipment needs to be cleaned regularly and workers need to follow strict procedures to prevent contamination and ensure the highest quality products reach consumers. This also makes American beef products prestigious in the international market. Bison are iconic symbols of the wild prairies of North America, with an estimated 20,000 roaming across western Canada. This would be fine if these bison didn't cause serious problems for the farms around them. Bison incursions into farms can lead to crop damage, fence damage, and even injury or death to livestock. So, how do farmers in western Canada deal with bison? Let's find out! The size of the bison is not inferior to the weight of the African buffalo. An adult male bison can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They also operate in herds, so their destructive power is also a hundred times stronger, making anyone facing this wild animal terrified. The most important issue for farmers in Canada is the damage that bison cause to surrounding livestock. 
These animals often roam around livestock farms because of the lush pastures that surround them. While foraging, bison also cause problems for humans and livestock in the area. The damage caused by bison is severe, with crops often trampled or eaten, resulting in significant financial losses for farmers. Fences designed to contain livestock are often destroyed or damaged, harmed by these large animals. In some cases, bison can even come into conflict with farm animals, resulting in injury or death to livestock. This not only affects on farm productivity, but also affects financial viability and economic losses to the farm. Not only economically, human safety is also threatened by bison, which are very aggressive and hot-tempered. They can attack and chase humans if they appear in their range of activities. It is hard to imagine the consequences of being attacked by a bison, because they can send a grown man flying with just one charge. To deal with these ferocious wild cows, Canadian farmers have come up with many control measures, from gentle to violent. However, each measure has certain effectiveness, so many Canadian farmers have resorted to extreme measures to control bison. Hunting bison with a gun is a challenging and serious endeavor that requires respect for the animal. They are one of the largest land animals in North America, so hunting them is more challenging than hunting other animals. In many areas of Canada, bison are protected under strict conservation laws and hunting them requires a specific permit. Regulations and population limits vary by region. Given the size and strength of the bison, choosing the right weapon is essential. Most experienced hunters recommend using a high-powered large caliber rifle. Hunters can choose from the 4570 Government, 3006 Springfield, and 338 Winchester Magnum. These calibers provide the power needed to take down a bison with a single well-aimed shot. It is also important to use high-quality ammunition designed for deep penetration, as bison hides and hair are so thick that conventional ammunition has difficulty killing them.
Sarah Shoot. No, no, wait. Bison hunting usually takes place in large open areas or in remote wilderness areas. Therefore, to prepare for the hunt, health is the most necessary and important thing, because they have may have to spend long days in the wilderness and walk long distances in search of their targets. Bison have excellent senses, especially their sense of smell, so approach them from the side, wind. It is best to bring down the bison as quickly as possible while ensuring humaneness and safety for yourself. In addition to using hunting guns, farmers can use other weapons such as bows and arrows or spears. Although these weapons are rarely used in hunting large animals, for experienced and interested hunters, it is an interesting experience. Spear hunting may seem strange to many people. When using it, hunters often ambush in tall trees and wait for bison to appear. They can also use bait made of corn or other agricultural byproducts to easily attract prey. When they appear, the spear hunter will use a strong throw force so that the spear tip can penetrate the animal's skin. This method usually takes longer than using a gun and has a lower chance of catching prey. The important thing after hunting bison is to process them. Processing bison meat is a rather complicated task due to their size. Hunters will need to have the right tools, including a sharp knife, a meat bag, and a method of transporting the meat. Due to the large volume of meat, many hunters use ATVs or even horses to help transport it. Bison is a popular meat among Canadians and is prepared in a variety of cuts and sold in local grocery stores as a specialty meat.